Lauren Hill is one of the most influential female R&B artists of all times. From a young age, she was exposed to a lot of music because her parents loved music. Her mother played piano. At a very young age, she was already setting a lot of records. Rolling Stone once described her as a quadruple threat because she was a talented singer, rapper, writer, and producer. To give you a better understanding of Lauren's musical genius, let's take a quick trip down the memory lane. She began singing at an early age and appeared on the soap opera as The World Turns and the film Sister Act 2, back in the habit as a teenager. Her on-again, off-again stint in the Fugees began at the age of 13, but was often interrupted by acting gigs and then by enrollment at Columbia University. The Fugees released their debut album, Blunted on Reality in 1994, and their follow-up 1996 The Score went multi-platinum and garnered them international success. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, Hill's solo studio album, was very well received. The eight times platinum album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, sold 12 million copies, and earned five Grammys. Hill largely disappeared from the public eye in the early 2000s due to the pressures of fame and disenchantment with the music industry. Her last full-length recording, the new material live album MTV Unplugged 2001, sharply divided critics, and though it was certified platinum, it was commercially unsuccessful in the U.S. A 2004 reunion of the Fugees did not last long. From 2018 to 2019, Lauren embarked on the miseducation of Lauren Hill 20th Anniversary World Tour. The year 2020 brought the Ms. Lauren Hill Live in Concert Tour. Though some dates were postponed because of the coronavirus pandemic, Lauren Hill was born Lauren Noel Hill on May 26, 1975, in Newark, New Jersey. She grew up in a Baptist household in South Orange, New Jersey, with mother Valerie, an English teacher, father Mal, a computer and management consultant, and older brother Mulaney. Lauren's family loved music, and Valerie played piano, and Mal sang at weddings and nightclubs. When she was in middle school, her performance of the Star Spangled Banner at a basketball game was so popular that a recording of her rendition was played at other games. In 1988, Lauren sang Smokey Robinson's Who's Loving You during amateur night on its showtime at the Apollo. She studied at Columbia High School, where future Scrubs star Zach Braff was one of her classmates. During her high school years, Hill joined the cheerleading squad and track team, took dance and violin lessons, and started a gospel choir at the school while taking advanced placement courses. When she was a high school freshman, she started the band Translator Crew with Prakazrel Michel. Wyclef Jean soon joined the group, and they started performing in high school talent shows and local showcases. As a teen, she also took acting classes in New York City, and in 1991, she and Jean appeared in an off-Broadway hip-hop production of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, which got the attention of an agent. She landed a recurring role as Kira Johnson on As the World Turns Later that year, and in 1993, she co-starred with Whoopi Goldberg and Kathy Najimi in Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. She also had a small role in the Steven Soderbergh film King of the Hill, The Fugees. Hill, Praz, and Jean renamed translator crew The Fugees, derived from refugees. She and Wyclef became romantically involved. In 1993, the Fugees signed a deal with Columbia Roughhouse Records and released the albums Blunted on Reality and The Score before disbanding in 1997. Their cover of Killing Me softly reached number one on the charts in several countries, and Spin Magazine called it an instant classic. Hill had been attending Columbia University during this time, but dropped out after a year. In 1997, she had a cameo in the film Have Plenty and appeared in the movie restaurant the following year. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill was released in August 1998 and was the year's most acclaimed album. The album spawned the hit singles Do Wop, That Thing, X Factor, and Everything is Everything. In July 2001, Hill filmed an MTV Unplugged special, which was released as an album, MTV Unplugged No. 2.0, in May 2002. The album peaked at number 3 on the Billboard 200, and the track Mystery of Iniquity earned Lauren a Grammy nomination for Best Female Rap Solo Performance. The Fugees briefly reunited in 2004 to perform at Dave Chappelle's Block Party in Brooklyn. The group also performed at the 2005 BET Awards and toured Europe before their reunion ended. In May 2013, she released the single Neurotic Society, Compulsory Mix, her first in more than a decade, and she narrated the 2014 documentary concerning violence.
Hill has contributed songs to the soundtracks of The Passion of the Christ, Surf's Up, What Happened, Miss Simone, and Queen and Slim and performed on tracks by Nas, Common, Mary J. Blige, John Legend, Method Man, Pusha T, and Tayana Taylor. At the peak of her career in the late 90s, Lauren earned an estimated $25 million from touring, merchandise sales, and album sales. In 2001, she paid a $5 million settlement to a group of producers who claimed to have helped write and produce some of her biggest songs. This event marked somewhat of a beginning of a downward period for Lauren. She experienced long album delays and retreated to a self-imposed exile. In 2012, she was charged with three counts of tax fraud. She simply did not file taxes for the $1.8 million in income she earned between 2005 and 2007. She eventually pleaded guilty to the charges, but then made essentially no effort to pay her back taxes and penalties. In 2013, she was sentenced to and served three months in prison. She has a net worth of $9 million. Lauren began dating Rohan Marley, son of late reggae legend Bob Marley, in 1996 while she was in a relationship with Wyclef Jean. She and Marley welcomed son Zion in 1997, daughter Selah in 1998, Son Joshua in 2002, Son John in 2003, and Daughter Sarah in 2008. She also has a son, Micah, who was born in 2011 and whose father isn't publicly known. In 1996, Hill launched a non-profit organization for at-risk urban youth called The Refugee Project and has raised funds for Haitian refugees and put on a Harlem concert to encourage voter registration. Lauren has won more than 60 awards for her work, including three American Music Awards, five MTV Video Music Awards, two Billboard Music Awards, four NAACP Image Awards, five Soul Train Music Awards, two Source Music Awards, and three World Music Awards. She has been nominated for 19 Grammys, winning Best Rap Album and Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals with the Fugees in 1997 and Best New Artist, Album of the Year, Best R&B Album, Best Female R&B Vocal Performance, and Best R&B Song for her solo work in 1999, and Album of the Year for producing Santana Supernatural in 2000. Thanks for watching. That's all we had for Lauren Hill. Please subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification button, and stay tuned on Celeb Central as we bring you more videos of your favorite celebrities.